All right, so this is a Shop Goodwill auction lot that I won. And I believe it's about 10 pounds of jewelry. But let's see if there's an invoice to tell me more. So there's my clue. Yes, this was the 10.85 pound jewelry, mixed jewelry lot that I bought. We're going to dump it out into this container and start seeing what we have. All right, so here's the whole bag. Let's dump some out and get started. Lots of tangles. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that looks good. We'll see if we can get through this in one video and then decide if we'll keep going or split it up. Okay, I want to make sure I'm giving you guys a good view. So first we have a fashion pearl necklace with this big interesting toggle closure and these are not real but they they I don't know they don't sound like plastic they're kind of cold to the touch so they might be glass and I do have a tape measure here so we can pull out to see Sorry, I will get my routine down, guys. But so this is about a like a 16 inch necklace, and I'll do five dollars if anybody is interested in purchasing. You can email me at dale at flippinfiasco.com. Right, let's see if we can get this one loose. Oof, maybe not. Let's first get this guy out. So we have a big clamper bracelet, really pretty, um, with gray and then like a like a graphite navy blue kind of color, and it's got dark stones. It is missing a stone here and here, so that's a bummer. And it does have a little bit of wear, but as you can see here, clamper bracelet. There's what the back looks like. I do think that's neat though. So I would do four if anybody is interested. Just know that it's missing a couple stones, but very unique, neat piece. Okay, okay I do see a tag. This is White House Black Market. See if we can get it untangled. There we go. So very nice kind of statement bib piece with all these drops on it. And it's got pearls and black faceted beads. Some of the big beads. I don't know if they just need to be cleaned. Yeah, I think they just need to be cleaned a little bit. Um, so let's just see if we have, looks like we might be missing one of the tiny stones here. Um, how about all the big stones though? We're missing a big stone here. So that's a bummer, but I mean, I might hold on to this one and try to fix it. So, but if anybody wants it as is, I'll do $3. little guy but she's gonna be really tangled okay this is just trash actually I'm not even gonna put it in craft um you know it's a real old and I mean I suppose that it has probably had value to somebody at one time but I don't think there's any value anymore it feels like it's been washed quite a few times and lovely friendship bracelet but we're done with it <laughs> 
All right, here we have an interesting silver piece. I'm not sure what that symbol is, but it does have um, a hook to be able to open it up. And I'm wondering, I don't see any sterling silver marks, but let's at least see if it is magnetic. And it doesn't seem to be attracted. So let's get out our 18 karat solution which we can use for testing silver as well. And I almost, yeah, I see a little bit of verdigris there. So let's see, we'll scratch this as well as the actual bracelet. And we'll see how it goes. And it did just disappear. So it's not sterling silver, um, but I would do $4 if anybody's interested. I'd like to know what that, if that's some kind of symbol. Does it have a cross in the middle, maybe? All right, let me wipe this off. All right, here we have a daughter necklace, which is caught up on this piece, and it does have a tag. It's from Claire's, so I'll just throw both of these into craft. This says Daddy's Little Girl. Let's see if we can get this blue piece out. Yeah. Okay, so we have a two-layer blue necklace with these shells and very pretty blue. You can see this up close. Super pretty colors. And then you can see some of that like mother of pearl sheen. So I'll do $4 on this piece. I wish I could get this girl out. She's really interesting. Her chain looks to be pretty worn, but she's very cute. And what are you doing? Oh, you're just stuck on that. Okay. All right. Well, what do we have? We have this adorable little girl, which says approved by studio Jilbly but isn't she cute and then on the same chain she's got a heart with some rhinestones and a little pearl dangly also and then coming up to a lobster clasp with an extender and it is um pretty long. It's a nice long chain. It is magnetic, but she's so cute. I'll do four on her. Put these pearls out of the way if we can. Not sure why they are held together with painter's tape, but let's uncover. Oh, so they that's where they've definitely got some, well, Probably thanks to the painter's tape, it took off some of the coating on these. Um, are they two different ones? They are. Yeah, so this one, um, like I said, the, the coating is now definitely coming off. And this one also has like a neat sheen on it, but has seen better days. So I'm putting both of those in craft. look at this rhinestone piece. So we have a rhinestone necklace. I always think of these as like a tennis bracelet that's a necklace. Like what are you actually supposed to call these? <laughs> but all of the stones are there. Let's see if there's any marks at the clasp. They 
don't see any. We'll make sure the clasp works though. It does. And hmm. it doesn't seem to be magnetic. And the fact that all of these are prong set, I kind of want to see what the scratch looks like. No, it is not sterling. But it is in very nice condition, so I'll do $5 on this piece. And it is obviously choker length. We can get a tangle from all of this. Okay, we have this set of silvery pearls, and they're not tied in between. They are graduated, um, so I would do two if anybody's interested in this. And it, the clasp, it doesn't have a clasp; it just has this black ribbon, which normally I'm like, ew, it's in such bad condition. But this actually is not in bad condition. This ribbon, so. A nice long graduated silvery pearl. Um, here we have, is there any maker's mark? No, but there is, it's a lobster clasp. This out of the way. And a reddish fabric cord with some brass balls and then some disco rhinestone balls. And they all seem to have all of their stones, which is fantastic. And again, I'm usually not a big fan of fabric, but this isn't in terrible condition. So I would do $3. What is it? Oh, that's an earring. Wow. Okay, we'll just start putting earrings behind. This is an earring. We'll see if we have a match before throwing it in craft. Right. Here is a cute little charm bracelet. Let me see. So of course I have it backwards. But all of these nautical elements, shells and sand dollars, and then a toggle clasp. Um, it's not in fantastic condition. I would do two if anybody's interested. Let's see what in the world is this. <laughs> so Batman. This is some kind of Spider-Man, I would assume. Um, AccuWatch. Oh, there it, you can see it lighting up and it does say five o'clock. So you push on it and it shows the time. Would you look at that? Um... I'll do five on that. It's nice that it's actually working and has the time. Maybe, maybe it'll sell. People like their uh, DC comics. All right, here we have a stretch rhinestone, clear rhinestone bracelet, and all of the stones are there. And it does look like it's, is it doubled, double strand? Oh no, it's that it's not just a strand. You see it has the metal behind it too. So it's almost like it's in a channel. So that's nice. I would do $4 on this piece. Ooh, look at this big mass of seed beads. Oh, please don't ruin it. And I'm just gonna open this up so that I can get it out without damaging it. Whew. Okay. So let's untangle. Oh, so this says made in Italy or made Ital. <laughs> um, and let's see if I can get it untangled because it feels like, yeah, there's three distinct strands and they do hang nicely, I believe. Yeah, so check that out. That is a really nice statement seed bead necklace. 
three big layers and then this hook clasp um, which again says made I think it does say Italy yeah it, maybe there the Y there has rubbed off a bit um, but I think this is really nice good quality this pink and white so I would do ten dollars on this piece it's substantial Let's see if we can get this out of the way we have just some dyed howlite. They are knotted in between and it's very long. You could double it up and I would do four dollars on that. Oops, sorry. This is just going to go into craft or I do have some religious items that I could lot it with them. Here's just a cheapy, that's really small too. I think that's a kid's bangle bracelet. One dollar. <laughs> I'll go to craft. Um, same with this piece. We'll go to craft or my religious lot. It does say live a life of love with a verse. Can get this guy untangled. Yes, it does have a charm which says it's from Banana Republic. And let's take a look and see if we have all the stones. All right, so yes, I believe stones. All the stones. Uh, yeah, I, I was afraid it was missing a bag up there, but it looks like everything is there. So I will do $6 on this Banana Republic piece. Very nice. Let's see what's going on here. I can't tell if there's just an earring caught or is this all one? Is it two? Maybe it's two. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside for now. So we have just this gold tone pendant on a brassy toned chain with some square faceted balls as you go up to the lobster clasp. And I'm sure this is just fashion, yeah. So I'll do $2 if anybody's interested in that. I'm not sure if that's from anything, but it doesn't ring a bell to me. And then this spiky thing that we were looking at too has a tag for Natasha. I've seen a few Natasha pieces now. Not sure where it's sold, but this is cute. It's like just spikies, like gold tone spikies in a fashion necklace. Um, let's see. I'll zoom you out a little bit so you can see how long it is. You know, it's like a moderate length. And I'll do three dollars on that one. Sorry, I'm trying to go quickly, guys. I could get rid of this rope. All right, so this is just a um, braided cord with some heart charms and comes up to this lobster closure with a charm that says just for you. So that will go to craft or dollar if anybody's interested. Let's see what we have here. This is a triple strand. And we've got some peach and green chips and then some off-white chips. And then this pearl strand. And they come up with a lobster closure and a little extender. I'll do $2 on that. again craft it is it is a really neat design very different but I just don't see resale value in that 
a, a worn out bangle that's going to craft. Here we have a little dagger with a rose stem around it. Oh, that's an earring. So we'll see if we have a match. This, not quite sure what was going on here, but this will go to craft. undo this yeah all right so we've got a little lobster closure blue seed beads going down to a pearly pendant <laughs> it does have this uh blue wow i feel like i should restart when words are coming more easily to me <laughs> A silver with the blue seed beads to connect it. So that's nice. I'll do three dollars. And we have some pearls on a spring clasp, which I believe usually indicates that they're a little older, but maybe not. Yeah, not real. So one dollar if anybody's interested. Here we have a big old watch. Oh, it is just a Geneva Platinum, it says. I guess if I would just turn it over, make my life easier. So you can see that the band has seen better days, but the watch itself is really neat. So I would do two and I can replace the battery. So many tangles see what we have here. It's an interesting piece because it's got, oh, and there is a mark. Yeah, Rosa Flores. And there's a little stone in the center of the rose too. That's cute. And then it's got these gold brassy toned circles, but then some of them have colors, colored rhinestones. So there's red, that one is, uh, those are just like brassy, like, and then there's green, there's like a green blue, and then green, green blue. So very different. I'll do $2 if anyone's interested. It has like that J. Crew esque clasp, but not J. Crew. Let's see what we have here. Oh, a Napier bracelet. Still has the tags. This, this is, oh no, it is. There it says, Napier. I'm so suspicious. And let's see if all the stones are in the middle. They are. So yeah, really cute um like teal green and then kind of a greener center and does not have what the suggested price was but I'll do eight dollars on this piece here we have just a mess of wood buttons um looks like it's broken so that's going to craft And this little thing, this has some neat lamp work style beads. I'm trying to feel, I don't really think that they're glass though. I don't know. That's going to craft though. Here's another cute little bracelet going to craft. Here we have a stone pendant with, mm, I'm not sure what these beads are. And it does have a lobster closure. That will just be $2. I can untangle this. 
No pie. It's a neat earring. I hope we find that match. All right, got this piece of untangled. So we've got some all colored stones with a dangly. That will be $2. Lobster closure and extender. Here we have a necklace with some, hmm, not quite sure what's going on here. I think this accidentally got hooked on it. No? Was it added? No, it definitely just got hooked on here. Okay. All right. So we've got a broken lobster clasp. So that's going to craft. And this little fabricy thing with a feather is also going to craft. This memory wire, which is attached. See what we can and cannot get untangled. tag. So this is a Premier Designs piece. Did you see it? Come on, turn it over. There we go. Let's see if we can get this one out without damaging it, preferably. Yes. All right. So we have a few different layers. And it needs to be like hung so that it hangs right now. But you can see what this looks like with all the layers and light green, silver elements. I'll do $5. I'm going to see if I can untangle. Okay, first of all, this is causing a big mess. So I'm just going to start cutting it. <sighs> has this cute little pendant on it though with um yeah all that light coming off of it and that's some kind of sciencey thing right all right hang tight there yes all right so we got this one loose i will do two dollars on this it probably has some meaning for someone. Okay, so we have this little bracelet. I'm not sure that it was intended to be a bracelet. Craft. And this was marked, wow, $45. Goodness. Why do you think that is? Um, check out that stone. So these must be made of actual stone. Do you think, is this jade? Hmm. You know what I like to do? I only have the diamond tester, but I like to see if it at least registers as a harder um, stone with this. So let's get this turned on and we'll give it a try because I'm just really confused why it has that $45 price tag. So let's get it warmed up. So I like to put it at about two and then I can see if it goes up from there. All right, let's give it a shot. So yeah, see, it is a harder stone. How about these? Yep, same for these. I don't know about these. Yeah, they're, I don't think they're anything fantastic. Um, is, it, is this sterling? Let's take a look. We need all of our information, right?
I don't believe so. It's bronzy, but we'll check. No, it is not sterling. But I guess maybe those stones are valuable. So I'll do 15 on that necklace for my viewers. We have a mess of tangles, so I'm gonna untangle what I have in here. Oh, wait, let's take a look. Got something else besides hair. So we have a lobster closure on these wood and stone mixed elements, and it is pretty long. So, but I'm going to put that in craft. So if anybody's interested, $1. This is craft. Ooh. So we have some seed beads in different browns and amber, coppery tones and it's got this little plastic closure and then coming down it weaves into this plastic piece that's craft one dollar <laughs> I hate when I spend time on things and then come to the conclusion that it's just craft um so here is an interesting silver and blue piece that will be two dollars This is a Disney. Oh. So a little Disney child's bracelet with a fold over clasp and it's got, mm, I don't know my Disney enough. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, so I'll do $2. <laughs> All right, I had to take a break for Mother's Day dinner, um, but what I did was untangled everything that was left in my bin. So we have this necklace with peach and gray and sort of like a rose gold tone lobster clasp. Um, very lightweight though and no maker's mark, so $2.00. I do have some highlights and some lowlights, so I'm trying to figure out how to do this best. Um, this is a really pretty um, necklace with the wire, which I'm normally not a huge fan of, but this has three strands, so it feels sturdier. And then these beads have like a tiger eye quality to them. And then this stone, also very pretty. Um, so I would do $4 on that one with all the pinks and purples, very pretty. Then we have this strange fabric. It's almost like it's almost like it's plastic and it's tied, but then it has these which are cold to the touch. So interesting stones. Um, these gold beads though have wear on them. Um, I would do two dollars. I think like you would probably harvest this to repurpose it, but it, I, I do think the components are quality. There is this very long necklace with gold discs and it does have a tag on it that says Daisy Fuentes. Right there. So yeah, so Daisy Fuentes, very long. Um, I think you might be able to double it. I would have, you know, like one shorter and one longer strand. Um, $4. Okay, this is probably my favorite piece, but I think, oops, hang on. <laughs> but it needs a little bit of work. So, I believe it goes this way. Okay. Right. It is so neat. So all of these shells, here we go, 
and then like brassy toned um, beads in between. I swear they do all go the same way. Uh, I know I'm working in a very small space here. I have to move. The collection has grown too big. those don't want to go the right way but yeah so you can see like all that mother of pearl um the iridescence very pretty and then these have like a the gold brassy tone and it is just really neat unfortunately it is missing the clasp but that i can fix so i'm thinking eight dollars for this it's really pretty. See that? Look at all those colors. It's just so neat. Then we have this multi-layer black faceted necklace that I would do $3. We have this necklace, which actually was causing a lot of issues. <laughs> And it does have a lobster closure here, and it would make for a really long triple strand necklace. Uh, there are the three strands, a rope, and then a thin with uh, gold balls, and then this flat chain. So it is in very nice condition. I really think that you could almost use it as a belt, because it's an odd way the clasp is, that it's, it doesn't have an extender or anything. So, I mean, it is almost long enough for somebody a little smaller than me to use as a belt or a very long necklace. And I'll do $5 on that. It's in very nice condition. If you can't see that. Very nice condition. This is broken, so it's going straight into craft. This necklace has a cute little medallion and tassel at the bottom in like fall, you know, orangey and brown colors. Lobster closure, very long. I would do $2. Um, there's no maker's mark, um, but you can see a big pendant. And I mean, it even, like it, it does go even. That, yeah, that's actually how it's meant to be. So it's very nice, I like that. We have a couple of simple um, stretch bracelets, which will just go to craft. Actually, this one is not stretch. And it's a little different there. I'm not sure. It seems like it should open. I don't know. Anyway, going to craft. We'll stop talking. <laughs> Here is a very simple um, handmade with a cross bracelet, which I will put with the rest of the religious items. There is, so remember that little necklace, or I thought it was a bracelet or something? Let's see, it's back here. Turns out it is a necklace. And um, I think, yeah, all of the stones, oh gosh, I'm sorry. So it turns out it's a necklace. And all of the stones are in each of the ribbons. So I think it's actually kind of a neat piece. It kind of is like Kate Spade-esque, but there is no maker's mark on it. So if anybody's interested, I'll fix that uh, with a jump ring and do $3. We have another fall themed necklace um, with a little tassel. And then I'm not sure what this is made of, but that's part of the tassel on the end. So $2 for that. Another big medallion with a tassel. I'm not sure that the chain is in that great a condition though. And I can't quite figure out what's going on with this lobster clasp and where, where it's supposed to go. So I was just going to put that in craft. This is a cute um, two strand long necklace with white and then there's feather and flower feather flower 
theme and the middle one or this one is just plain so I would just do two dollars if anybody would like that let's see and we have a few like children's bracelets there's this one with um they they are pretty uh probably just enamel I think in the middle of those stars and but there was another one Oh yes, there is this cute little bracelet with horses on it for the kids' lot. Here's a Claire's daughter necklace, which I'll just put in craft. There's a couple of plain chains, which don't appear to be anything special. This, though, take a look at this cute little angel. And oh, so, so he actually faces this way. But he's on a gold chain, which is not nice, and he is sterling silver. Yeah, so... Sorry for the shaking. Yes, yeah, so there's the 925 and sterling mark. So that was, that was a nice little find. Um, I think that I might have a sterling necklace that I could put that on. So I'll do eight on him. And here is a Madewell necklace with the fringy tassel. And I like their um, necklaces because it's this adjustable um, that, you know, it would be doubled, but you can pull this to make it longer. And then you would just pull this the same amount and so it's very adjustable and I would do six on that and then I was hoping that I would find matches to these earrings but don't forget that I have the other half of the bag to go so, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell button to be alerted when I post the second half of this haul thanks for being here catch you next time